Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock from the Solomic server. The owner of the server gave me a little special code that I will reveal to you at the end of the episode and where to use it to get the first five members that use it shadow rank on the server here. So it's a little bit of a reward for you guys for watching me uh, from the owner. So I want to thank him for that and let's continue with the video. I did a little bit of work in between episodes. Uh, I wanted to put the blaze spawner here, but then I realized I needed uh, darkness for the blazes to spawn. So I quickly set up this with the slabs and we're gonna do a bit of an experiment today. I'm gonna test if the blazes die before they come to the center from the water or if they're gonna be fine. Uh, but if they're not gonna be fine, that's okay. We are gonna then probably ask one of our kind uh, people here on the server if they can lend me the self touch pick so I can pick up the spawners, but I wanted to get to that myself. So uh, what we're gonna do is here I have my blaze spawner. I bought that off camera. Uh, we're gonna sneak our way in here. Can I, uh, whoop, that's gonna put water everywhere. Oops, let's go maybe over here and break these two thingies. Um, I could probably put in an on and off switch as well, which would mean putting in a bunch of signs and lava. That might probably be a better idea before we do anything else. Yeah, let me do that. Ho um, hold on. Let's uh, go to the shop. I have chat opacity down to 10% so we don't see chat. And in the new update, there's going to be a toggle chat command. So that's really cool. Uh, we need some cobblestone. So let's buy just a stack should be cool. Uh, did I already buy some redstone? Oh, it flushed all my honey heads. Uh, these are things that <laughs> honey heads go here. Um, I kind of clicked the beehive with honey in my hand and it placed it in front of it. Uh, but we're getting some more honey. I have a bunch more flowers here ready to go. Uh, how are you doing for flowers? You're pretty much full-ish. Um, all right. Uh, so, uh, what I was making? Redstone stuff. I have redstone. Uh, let's grab four of these. I'm gonna need also sticks and string. Do I have any string? No. So let's get some shopping. Uh, let's get mob drops string. I'm gonna need a total of four bows. So that's three string per bow. So that's 12. Okay. Uh, we have sticks somewhere. At least. Uh, we can make some sticks like that. Give me sticks. Don't know how many I need, like that many. Uh, and then bows. One, two, three. Oh crap, it's making bowls. Two, four, there we go. And can I make dispensers now? Yes, one, two, three, four. Lovely, okay. Uh, we're gonna put this uh, here, but I need also a bunch of signs. So let me get those going. And apparently I made eight bowls because I'm a dum-dum. That's not going to be enough signs. Let me make some more of these and some more of this. And like that. And then maybe another like that many. And this many. I know I'm doing manual crafting and I could be just shift clicking everything, but you know, it's fine. Uh, all right, let's put this away. We don't need the glass anymore. And let's go in here. And we were going to play, we're going to place whoop, the signs. Uh, this is where the spawner is going to be. So let's place it uh, on the same level that the spawner is. So we're going to go like this. And placing signs in vanilla is the best thing ever. All right. Let me just place all of these signs and then we're going to get ready to set up the redstone up top. All right. I put in the dispensers. I also bought some lava. So we have lava buckets inside of them. I just ran some redstone to them. It's super simple. We're going to make probably a better version of this in the future where we have like redstone components uh, triggering from the bottom so we can transfer signals up top and the back and, and hide all the stuff. So for the moment, we're just going to test this and see how it works. Uh, it's not going to flow underneath here. So that's cool. Uh, I kind of placed signs here on this side because I uh, I need to place in the spawner and then we're going to try and see if we can replace the the slabs while we have the spawner in here. So this shouldn't spawn blazes, but I need to replace the signs. So what if I do that? We break that and then place that. That works. We break that and place that. And then we break that and place that. I'm glad lava flows slower. And then we're going to break that, place that. Lovely. Sweet. Okay. 
So, the blazes are in, the, the lava is in, it's, it's getting us spawn proofiness, uh, which is lovely. Okay, it doesn't look it's really pretty, but you know, it is what it is, it's vanilla-ish. So, let's just get rid of that and see if we get uh, some blazes down here and see how hurt they are. Okay, the lava's gone away. It's full darkness now. There's blazes. Oh, they come. Oh, they're, they're not hurt at all. Or not least that much. Yay, we have a blaze spawner. Okay, I need to buy more now, I guess. I have 20 million. We can, we can buy some more. Shop. Spawners, where are you? Blaze is a million. Well, uh, let's say ten, for ten million, or eleven apparently, because it adds it adds ten to the thing. Okay, uh, let me let me go add these. Uh, let's just kill these off, uh, and let's go turn it off first of all. Okay. And then I need my uh, breakaway inside. Hopefully the uh, the blaze won't see me. Let's just add all of these. Does it say how many we do we have? I don't think it does, but that would be twelve total, because I just had the one before. Okay, let's kill you. That's like five times the blaze. Oh yeah, okay, I see. You get XP, but you do not get that many blaze rods. I think I need looting, is what is the case. But, what I'm gonna do now is see if I can farm up uh, 30 levels, or a little bit more, because it shouldn't take too long with all of the th oh, with uh, the amount of blaze that we get. Uh, even though they all kind of group up together, and we would ra I would rather have them be hurt a little bit more. But we can't really control how much... Yeah, because there's 39 blaze, and you ki when you kill them manually, you kill them one at a time. Oh god. I'd really need a... Uh, a better system for this. I mean, just the first... I don't know how crushing would work. Does it crush all of them? I don't know how this would work. And I can't kill them fast enough, because they're they're stacking together. Hmm. That's a thing to figure out. I finished off all the blazes. I went to, to turn off the spawner in the middle of uh, killing them, because you kill them one at a time. <clears throat> and I wonder if Sweeping Edge is going to do multiple at a time. But we're going to see. If not, I'm going to ask the owner how, how I can make a better XP farm. And I'm losing my voice. Hold on. Oh, I had to cough real bad. Okay, so, uh, we have 30 levels. We can get some enchanting now then. Uh, so let's grab uh, all of this wood. And we're just gonna make uh, the 15 bookshelves. Uh, did I buy lapis already? No. So let's do slash... That is not slash shop. And... Or shop. Uh, let's just buy a stack of lapis blocks. Sounds good. Okay. We're gonna convert all of that to lapis. Put it in my... That's my blocks chest. Let's put it in here. That's now gonna be my lapis chest. Okay. I have an enchanting table somewhere. I made that off camera. Here it is. Aha. We got it. I'm just gonna put it here in the middle for the moment. Because uh, we are gonna be using this enchanting table a little bit. Uh, and let's just do that. And then add a crafting table. Right here in the corner. Doesn't matter where it is. Uh, and let's just see what we can get. On the shovel, efficiency 4. On the pickaxe, efficiency 4. On the sword, sharpness 3. So let's not do sword, because I just want efficiency uh, here. And the next thing is efficiency here, and on the sword is sharpness 4. Let's do sharpness 4 on the sword. So I'm gonna go turn on the spawner a little bit. Uh, and I'm gonna farm a few more blazes to get another 30 levels, or maybe even 33, probably just 30. Uh, and I'll be back once I'm ready to do some more enchanting. Let's get some sharpness on our sword. Sharpness, fire aspect, and looting. Lovely. Okay. And then just an efficiency 4 on the shovel. Sweet. Okay. Farming summer blazes. Oh, that's much easier. It's two hit kill now. Also, this hopper is not very good at picking up stuff. Uh, I kind of lowered the slab down, but I realized the hopper was powered by the redstone lamp underneath, and that's why it wasn't picking up stuff. 
Uh, but still, items fly out somewhere all over, sometimes all over the place. I probably should do that, and that might be better, but you know, it's alright. Okay, more farming. Alright, I bought some more diamonds, I bought just a stack, I made another sword, another pickaxe, and another shovel, and we're just gonna do the shovel right now, uh, to get just some efficiency if I'm breaking some dirt, and then this is sharpness 3, smite, and sweeping edge 1. Uh, what if we grab a book? Book, 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 I have books. What can I get on a book? Feather falling 4, I'll take it, not bad. Uh, what else? Sharpness 3, sword, I'm breaking 3. Pickaxe, fortune 2, shovel, it's gonna be fortune 2. Okay, I don't really know if I need a fortune pickaxe. I don't think there's anything that I can do with a fortune pickaxe. I would really need a silk touch. So, basically I'm gonna spend, like the next, let's say, half an hour-ish, uh, just farming up some levels and enchanting some pickaxes, and I'll bring you back once I have the things that I need. I still haven't gotten the self touch pick, but we're we're getting closer ish. We have an efficiency five and breaking three fortune three pick. I just took it because why not? We can sell it if we wanted to. I have an efficiency five diamond pickaxe. I have I'm breaking three looting fire aspect and sharpness four on my sword. I have an efficiency five and breaking three shovel. Even though efficiency five is completely pointless on a shovel, but we're never gonna need another one, I don't think. Uh, so I've been using some uh, regular wooden shovels to see what uh, the enchant is on. Not to see what the enchant is, to reset the enchantment. For example, here I can just toss in a single lapis, reset it, and see what we can get on a sword. That would be smite. Uh, what can we get on a book? Flame. And another feather falling too. So I looked at the au auction house, and somebody's selling a sweeping edge too for a million. So I think I'll just buy this, and we're gonna see if it works. So here, confirm. There we go, we got sweeping edge too, and it cost us a million, that's fine. Uh, how much is it gonna cost me to put it on here? Five levels. Okay, not bad. Let's see if I hurt multiple of these now. I don't know that I do. Because they're all stacked in this one entity. I'm not sure. I think it's the same. But I realized that you can click faster than you can in normal vanilla. Uh, to kill mobs. Like the cooldown's not there. We're almost not there. Uh, so this is decently fast still. Alrighty, more farming of the XP's and seeing if we can get a silk touch pick. I can't seem to get a silk touch to show up, so I asked people in the chat if they can put one silk touch book on the auction house, and somebody did. It's here for a hundred thousand, so I'm just gonna buy it. And where are you, silk touch? There you are. So we're gonna take this silk touch on it. Boom. <laughs> I just need I'm breaking now. Is the, is the next one I'm breaking? I think it was. Yeah, okay, let's just get another 30 levels. I'm gonna need another 8, and then we can uh, get an unbreaking pickaxe. And I'm gonna tell you, that unbreaking one is gonna be a silk touch for some reason. I don't know why I have that feeling. But let me get another 30 levels and see what it is. Okay, let's see what this is. Please don't be fortune. Okay, just unbreaking. That's lovely. So let's do that and that. We have unbreaking, efficiency 5, silk touch. Wonderful. We have sharpness, uh, I got sweeping edge 3 on a book, on, actually no, on a sword, and sharpness 4. So I have sweeping edge 3 now, I don't think it makes a difference, it does, actually sweeping edge does do more damage, I think. But it doesn't make a difference from hitting multiple of them. It's still decently fast to get 30 levels, it's not a uh, super grind, uh, so I think it's fine. Let's just get rid of all of these in my inventory that we don't need. Uh, and I have, uh, let's just grab a chest. Uh, I need to make one da -da -da, chest. Thank you very much. I'll put you right here. I have another feather falling, a blast protection, sweeping edge, and another sweeping edge. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I might, uh, actually, I want to make my villager tinder uh, in here with the villager spawner and make a cool trading hall thing. I think that could be fun. Uh, but uh, for now that we have silk touch, we can go move. Our iron golem spawner, finally. So we can actually tear this uh, monstrosity down. How are you gonna pick it up? Oh, you do one at a time? I assume? Yes, okay. So I don't know how many I have in here. Um, but we'll see. I'm just gonna pick all of these up. Lovely. I have eight. Okay. Oh, and I can pick up all my glass now as well. Uh, Alright, let me just uh, start with tearing this down. I'm actually gonna go uh, grab my bucket and get rid of this lava in here so nothing gets destroyed. 
Uh, we need to just close off the water. I'll just do that with some wood. And now that we have efficiency 5, it's going to be a bit easier to break stuff, which is going to be lovely. Uh, the axe is still insane uh, with the efficiency 10. It's instant mine when I'm not flying, which is cool. Uh, but the rest is going to have to be torn down, uh, sadly. Because I don't want to have the farms in the corners. I want to be here in the middle. Uh, and I don't know if there's a way, an automated way of killing blazes and getting blaze rods. So we're going to just have this guy be like an an on and off uh, kind of guy uh, and I might be changing in the floors and possibly putting in like a blaze pixel art and putting different types of pixel arts over here on the walls um, but yeah uh, this is looking pretty cool so far I also need to move my beehive at some point but I keep tossing in flowers uh, to get more honey so you know um, we're gonna move it at some point and get a nice spot for it probably here in the middle or maybe somewhere on the corner uh, on the corner sounds fine, I think. All right, uh, let me do a bit of work and tear down the iron golem one and build another one here and set up the iron golems back over here, I think. So as I'm tearing this island down, I uh, island, this spawner down, I remember that we could put silk touch probably on our, my elder axe and then break glass super fast with it. Uh, that might be re a really cool idea. So I asked for another uh, silk touch book on the auction house, and there was one. This guy for a thousand, uh, one hundred thousand from Electronic. Yeah, something, something. Uh, so we can toss this on here. Yeah, sweet. Okay, how fast are you? Still slow. It's faster than. Is it faster though? I don't think it is. That feels sad. I thought it was going to be super fast, but it works, at least. I don't know. Okay, so I'm almost done with removing this. I'm going to need to just remove the hoppers, and then we can set up the iron golem one again. I'll do that off camera, because you've already seen me set it up. And uh, we're going to see if I stand in the middle, if I activate both spawners, because that's going to be really cool if we want to add some other spawners as well. Maybe, I really think my blocks are too loud. Blocks go lower a little bit. Oh, better. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I want to see if I can out activate all four sides of the uh, the base, basically, like the blaze spawner and the iron spawner, iron golden spawner, because we're going to add some other spawners as well, probably, uh, for resources that we need. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, let me finish uh, removing all of this and uh, set it up again, as I said. The iron golem spawner is now back at its functional state and is slowly killing the iron golems, getting us a bunch of iron. Oh, hello. Uh, we are full. Whoa. All the blocks, please. Thank you very much. And more. I didn't think it was that productive. I've only AFK'd for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. <laughs> Uh, why don't we sell like a row of this? Uh, actually two rows. You know what? We're getting iron for days and if I just stay AFK here for a bit, I can get more and more iron. Uh, let's go shop and I assume here or shop sell price. Uh, oh, uh, wrong click. Shop this right click to sell. Sell more. Sell nine stacks. Uh, I think I need I need to ch turn my chat opacity uh, to full so I can see five fifty seven thousand bucks is uh, of that uh, so that that oh you can sell all okay yeah so a hundred thousand for quite a bit of iron uh, I don't know if that's necessarily worth it rather than just uh, hoarding it in a chest or maybe using. Uh, the uh, shulker boxes, if you can get shulker boxes at some point, uh, I don't know how you do, because uh, I don't see them anywhere on... I don't think I saw them on the shop for the mob drops. There wasn't shulker shells. So I don't know if you can you actually do shulker boxes. Um, so that's going to be a thing that I, uh, I can research. And maybe you guys can tell me in the comments if you have played on the server before. But I already set up another spawner room. Uh, where we can put, for example, a guardian spawner. The only thing that's going to be tricky, because the mobs stack, I'm going to have to kill the mobs differently. So I can drop them through a couple layers of lava, but I think that's going to just reduce the first guardian to uh, to like low, no, low health or maybe even kill it. Uh, and then I could possibly put them on magma blocks. 
that could be a thing that works. So I have no idea just yet how I want to do this, but we are going to do the Guardian Spawner because in the shop, uh, you cannot buy sea lanterns. You cannot. You can buy prismarine crystals, but you cannot buy prismarine shards. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, and also in the blocks, there's no uh, sea lanterns anywhere. And even glowstone is over here, not ores. Uh, it's in the special blocks, I believe. There's glowstone. Uh, people do sell sea lanterns on their islands and stuff. But I think I want to make make a guardian spawner on my own and see if I can make it work and be functional to kill all the guardians. But yeah, as I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, it's time to reveal the code and where to use it. Uh, the code is Fiki and use it at store.solomic.com to get shadow rank for the first five members that click on that use that code or members first five people that use that code will get the shadow rank on the server. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.